What's up, you guys? It's your boy Scotty, and you're watching my review on the not Real Housewives of Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop New York, season six. I think this is episode four. What's up, you guys? This video is late. I know it is, but I'm tired. But I can't keep using that as an excuse. I know I can't, but I think long as y'all get the videos, y'all are okay. So let me just go ahead and get y'all this video. Um, it's not gonna be long because I really wasn't too too much um interested in this episode. It was way too much Mo and Lexi, way too much Cisco, way too much Mariah Lynn. So I wrote down six notes of things that appealed the most to me. So let's just get it started. First of all, let's start off with this aftermath of the fight that happened between Cardi B and Yorma from last week's episode. Um, from the moment that Cardi B walked up and said what's popping, you know, Yorma sensed. That something was wrong with this picture. So she asked, what's up with you? And the next thing you know, Cardi B decides to put it all out on the table. She was fucking self. She's still fucking him. And she slapped the shit out of Yarma. And they get into a fist fight. They get separated. Yarma gets upset because she already knew that DJ Self was fucking around on her. But he lied to her saying that he wasn't. And she was upset. Cardi B just wanted to fight the bitch. So she breaks the damn window trying to get the fuck out the limousine. Let me tell y'all. I love me some Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people think that her voice is annoying. Like a lot of people think that my voice is annoying. A lot of people compare her ass to Jocelyn Hernandez. And I do see similarities. But at the same time, she's a different kind of... She's just a different type of person to Jocelyn to me. Jocelyn thinks that she's more than these bitches. Cardi B is all about having a good ass time. She don't think that she's better than everybody. So with that being said, I just love me some Cardi B. Um, without her, this show wouldn't even be enjoyable. So let's talk about Mo and Lexi. Um, they discuss, um, you know, Lexi comes up to meet up with Mo. And apparently Lexi has been talking to Rashida Ali behind Mo's back about trying to work with them as far as the single release party and trying to finish up her duties with that. Mo feels like, um, you know, she still feels like she they shouldn't be working with um, Rashida because she doesn't want them to be together. But she's saying even though Rashida got the party together, she still don't trust her. And she still feel like the future with her and BBOD is just out of the picture. So then she starts talking about her boot thing. Mo apparently has been dating Cisco, the snowman. The dude that was on there last season who apparently was dating Diamond Strawberry and... Um, yeah, Diamond Strawberry and Rich ended up fucking up. So, yeah, um, she's apparently dating him. She's feeling herself about this situation. And she's pretty much, you know, loving the situation with her and Cisco. She feels like she's been dating him for a little while. They vibing with each other. He's going to work with the group on a single. So, she feels like she can work her magic, her ads and titties and pussy and everything to get them a hit song. I ain't never heard not one hit song that Cisco ever produced. But, okay, I'll look it up on Wikipedia somewhere. So, let's talk about Cardi B and Mariah Lynn. They talk about what happened at Mariah Lynn's birthday party. And they discuss um, DJ Self. Cardi feels like she just got to leave self alone because she feels like he was lying to her about having somebody else when all she wanted from him was to keep it 100. And that's true. I mean, she already knew her position just like he knew his. Her man in jail and he and he got a woman but he ain't telling her the situation. So she was pissed off about that. So now, um, sis, uh, Cardi B was like, so while you talking about me and self, you need to be talking about you and Rich. So apparently Mariah Lynn was wanted to work with Rich, but she feels like all Rich want to do is fuck. Which he probably does. I mean, he is a part of the creep squad. And everybody knows that whenever Rich wants to manage somebody, he also want to manage the pussy as well. So she does understand that. Um, so, in addition to Mariah Lynn talking to Cardi B about um, Rich and DJ Self, she meets up with Cisco. And apparently Cisco... Um, has heard Mariah Lynn's music. He want to work with her. But also besides working with Mariah Lynn. He's also trying to date her. And she did bring up her past with Rich. Cisco doesn't want to hear Rich name. Because they were friends before he fucked Diamond. So he really doesn't give a fuck about her connection with Rich. But at the same time. You know what I'm saying. He just want to know where he could go with Mariah Lynn. And I feel like a whole bunch of shit about to come out of that. And it is. Because at the end of the day. You sit, you right here fucking mo, But you trying to fuck Mariah Lynn too. A mess. So you know. as After he's done talking to Mariah Lynn about their situation. 
her, him and Mo meet up and they go out on a date and everything. And she said that, you know, she feel like we've been dating for a while. She really like you. She want to invite you to her um, single release party where her friends and family going to be at. And he was like, you know, me and Mo are dating, but she need to put the brakes on it. Meeting family and friends. I ain't ready for that. Blah, blah, blah. No, see, you all want to do is fuck. See, that's the same thing that happened with Diamond. You had this girl... Moved to New York and didn't even live with you. You know what I mean? Like you had a whole nother life. So my thing about it is when girls watch these shows and they get involved with y'all motherfucking ass, why the fuck do they get involved with you? Like really? It ain't, I mean, honestly, it, it's a mess. So Cardi B and DJ Self, they get together, they discuss the fight, and they both agree to just be friends and just work together and get their shmoney. You know what I mean? She felt like um, DJ Self was being um, unfair to her. He lied to her about the connection that she that he had with Yarma. He lied about a whole lot of stuff and she feels like she was being played. And honestly, I understand where she coming from. But he felt like Cardi B shouldn't have even been at the party. But Cardi B felt like that was Mariah Lynn part of Mariah Lynn invited her so she had every right to be there, which she did. But they both agreed to shake hands and be friends. So let's talk about the single release part of that Rashid Ali pulled together. Um, you know, everything's cool, you know what I mean? But they when they perform, I just be feeling secondhand embarrassment for these bitches because these bitches can't rap. What was it called? What's the name of the song? Thought uh, Delicious or whatever? I don't know what the fuck that song called. But I just said that they need to just sit the fuck down and just stop it while they're here because they are not nobody's musicians. Nobody saw this ghetto ass, ghetto twin, salt and pepper mess. Just need to sit the fuck down. So Lexi meets... Cisco, she feels like, you know, as you know, this is my bitch, you know, I'm supposed to know who the fuck you are, whatever, so that didn't really go out too well, but, you know, she did treat him with some respect, but she did lay down the ground rules. So then, the next thing, you know, Mo and Cisco talking, they talk about the record, and then the next thing, you know, DJ Self and Mariah Lynn pops up. So Mariah Lynn and Mo, they know each other from being on the cypher for DJ Self, and um, Cisco and Mariah are talking. So the next thing you know, um, Mo introduces Cisco to Mar Mariah Lynn as her boo. So Mariah Lynn was like, that's your boo? And she was like, yes. And then she was like, oh, okay, because, you know, we've been macking it a little bit, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, I didn't really know. And then, you know, he said, yeah, we're dating, blah, 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 blah. So then Mo gets upset. But I feel like she got really up, the most upset at the wrong person. Now, she was mad with Cisco, but she got mad with Mariah Lynn, too. And I felt like... You know, as much as I don't really like Mariah Lynn because I found her annoying as hell, but in this instance, I gotta, I gotta keep it 100. Mariah Lynn really didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't know that Mo was fucking around with Cisco just like the rest of us didn't know. So the only person you need to be mad about and mad at is Cisco. Why are you mad at Mariah Lynn? She didn't know. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know nothing about you. She didn't know nothing about Cisco either. About Cisco's personal affairs and who the fuck he fucking, and apparently I don't think she really gave a damn. You know what I mean? But at the end of at the end of it all, you showing out, you turning up, it's like Mariah made you motherfucking intimidated because you already came out of your character and tried to fight her, and she didn't really give a fuck at the end of the day. I do believe that you probably would have whooped Mariah Lynn ass just by looking at the both of y'all, but Mariah Lynn wasn't backing down, and she wasn't scared of your Austin your how looking ass. You mad at the wrong bitch. The only bitch you need to be mad at is Cisco. And that's really all I gotta say about that. This episode was a was was slightly boring. You know what I mean? Like I ain't really care about too much. Anything with Cardi B, I like it. But you know, I ain't really care about nothing else. But that's all I gotta say. I'm still reviewing so Zoe Ever After. And I will be reviewing the haves and have nots as well. So both of those videos will be up before Saturday. Don't get it twisted. They still coming. I'm just late as a motherfucker, but you know what it is, what it is. So I'm out of here, y'all.